Hello everybody and welcome to today's video. If you're new, welcome to my channel. Happy New Year. I hope everybody had a really nice New Year's Eve. I'm currently filming this on New Year's Eve because today I'm going to be filming a get ready with me, um, but I'll be uploading this tomorrow on New Year's Day. So I hope everyone had a really nice New Year's Eve and celebrated in some way. Obviously, we're kind of limited with what we can do this year. For me, I'm just having a takeaway and playing some board games over FaceTime with a few of my family friends, um, which is very different from what I would normally be doing on New Year's Eve but I'm sure it's going to be really fun anyway and we're just kind of all adapting this year and just yeah doing what we can like Christmas was very different New Year's going to be very different as well but I thought I would film a get ready with me anyway do some makeup and kind of like try and feel like it's a normal New Year's Eve even though I am just going to be staying at home. <laughs> I've also seen a trend going around on Instagram where people are sharing some of their like positive highlights from 2020 because obviously this year has been a year like no other, a year that no one is going to forget anytime soon. Um, but I still thought this was a really nice trend that was going around that people are sharing some of the good things that have happened in 2020 and having a bit of like a reflection of the year um, and sharing some of yeah their highlights, some of the good things that have happened and so I thought I would jump on that and whilst I'm doing my makeup and getting ready I'm going to share some of my highlights and the good things that have happened in 2020. <laughs> Also, I forgot I've not uploaded since Christmas either, so I hope everyone had a really nice Christmas that celebrated it, and if you didn't, I hope you had a really nice day as well. Okay, so I have written out some of my highlights on my laptop, and then I have brought my makeup up here, and I am about to start getting ready. So I feel like for me, this year kind of started like any other really. I feel like that's the same for everybody. Nobody really expected this year to kind of take the turn that it did. Um, and recently, I mean, last night, literally last night, I watched Death to 2020 on Netflix. And I feel like that was a really funny kind of look back at 2020. And obviously some of the stuff that's happened this year is not stuff to be laughed at, but I feel like they did it in a really good way. And I would really recommend watching that if you want like a lighthearted look back at what's happened this year, because yeah, it was really funny. <laughs> Okay, so my first highlight is at the start of this year, um, I actually went on two holidays and if anybody kind of knows me, they know that traveling is something that I'm really into. I absolutely love going on holidays um, and kind of my, one of my goals for like my early 20s is to travel around as many European cities as I can. And I've ticked off quite a few. I've ticked off like Barcelona, Budapest, Prague, Rome, Paris, um, Vienna, I've ticked off quite a few, um, but this year I actually managed to tick off two more. So they were Amsterdam and Copenhagen. Um, and I am so lucky to have been able to do two holidays this year. And I'm so grateful that I actually had that. This year was gonna be a really big year for me and like ticking off loads of the cities that I wanted to go to. So I planned loads of trips and that's why I kind of started from January. And I'm so glad that I did that because that meant that I got to go in February. I went to Copenhagen, which was so nice. And then in February, March, like the weekend that overlapped them both, I went to Amsterdam and that was really Really fun too. Um, I've never really done winter holidays before this year as well um, and it was really fun and I'm definitely going to be doing winter holidays again in the future because even though it was definitely like harder to pack because I only really pack hand luggage cases like I don't really pay for a big suitcase on the plane or anything so um, it was hard to fit in all of like jumpers and coats and stuff into my hand luggage suitcase but um, other than that it was perfect, it was really fun. Um, we needed to rough it warm. We actually ended up buying like extra leggings and extra tights and stuff when we were in Copenhagen because it was freezing. Um, but it was a really nice holiday. Um, I'm gonna absolutely butcher the pronunciation of this, so I'm sorry, but my favorite thing about Copenhagen was Niehaven um, because it was just so pretty. We actually went here in the day and then also again at night. Um, and like we kept coming back to it. It was like our hub for Copenhagen and for our trip because we'd always go out for dinner here. And yeah, it was just super pretty. Um, the boats would all light up at night as well. So um, it was super cute to just walk along and see everything. And then in the day, all the houses are really colorful. So um, you could just see all the like nice houses and stuff. It was really pretty. Um, but I think actually, I think my highlight from this trip was the Tivoli, which we went to on our last day, which is a giant like theme park right in the middle of Copenhagen. And um, it was just so fun. Um, we actually booked an all day ride pass, which meant that we could like go on all the rides, but we also got um, all of the photos from our rides as well, um, which was just such a nice memory. And because we went in February, it was so quiet and we were able to walk on like all of the rides. Um, so that was really fun. And that's just, 
yeah a really nice memory from that trip and I would definitely like recommend going there in the winter as well because it was like really cute um and yeah I feel like some cities in my mind I've got as like summer holidays and summer like winter like Barcelona for me was definitely a summer place like if I was to go back there I'd go back in the summer um but yeah Copenhagen I would definitely recommend for the winter because it's just really pretty and then like the week after I got back from Copenhagen, I headed off to Amsterdam, um, which was another winter trip, which was so fun. It was my first holiday with my friend Neve, And yeah, we just had a really good time. We went to the Anne Frank house. Um, we went and walked around the like canals. Then we went to the Moco Museum. It was just so cute. I'd never been to Amsterdam before that. And we had a really nice time. It was so pretty. And I absolutely loved like photography. So I was taking my camera everywhere and taking loads of photos of the canals and stuff. Um, yeah, it was just really cute and a really nice holiday. So when I got back from Amsterdam, it was March and that's kind of when everything kicked off. Um, and I feel like in that time, I don't know, it was just really weird, like, I feel like I spent the first month being like, okay, it's just gonna end soon, and then when it didn't, I was like, right, okay, what do I do? So I ended up, I feel like, like most people, kind of resorting to baking, which is something that I haven't even done since, like, school, college, um, but I absolutely loved baking when I was younger, so actually starting baking again was actually really fun, and I did loads of cupcakes, and I think my favourite cupcakes that I did were my Walking Dead cupcakes. If anybody's seen some of my previous videos, you would know that I am obsessed with The Walking Dead. Um, so yeah, I made some Walking Dead cupcakes and yeah, that was really fun to do. So another definite highlight for me this year was that when we were able to, I definitely made the most of kind of going and exploring my local area a lot more. And I went to so many different like flower fields. We went strawberry picking, we went to some lavender fields, um, some bluebell woods. We did so much. Um, where we just went and kind of like yeah explored our local area and found some really cute places around by us um and yeah i didn't even know they were there before but i've definitely made like traditions for years going in the future now like i'm definitely going to be going back to the bluebell woods when we can and like things like that and i just think it was really nice and i've got some really nice like photos and memories and i feel like when I looked back on 2020, I was like, oh, I've not really done a lot. And I was looking back at my photos and I was like, yes, I have. Like I've, I've been able to do so much, which I'm so grateful to be able to have done. Um, and yeah, so my birthday was actually in June. Um, and that was kind of just as we were getting out of the like strict lockdown stage. And I'd kind of prepared to not be able to do anything for my birthday. But I had a really, really nice birthday. I look back at this birthday and I've had such a good time. I feel like... So it was my 20th this year and I actually did a vlog of my um, birthday weekend if you want to see that so I'll link that down below. But yeah, I went strawberry picking, I camped out in my garden with my mum, I um, had a few friends around for like a barbecue in my garden. Um, I can't really remember what else I did but I look back at my birthday and I'm like that was actually a, such a good birthday and I feel like we definitely made the most of it. Um, and my friends would come around and like drop around my present on my doorstep and we'd have like a chat and stuff. It was really nice. Um, and so yeah, I definitely feel like it wasn't a bad birthday by any means. It was actually probably one of the nicest birthdays that I've had because it was more kind of less pressure on like going out or like having an amazing night out. It was just like, I'm gonna spend time with my close friends and my family. And yeah, I just had a really nice time. I've got the biggest spot on the side of my cheek. We're just gonna ignore that. So something that I've done this year that I never actually thought of doing kind of prior to this year, and I don't even know if it was really a thing prior to this year, um, is drive-in cinemas. And I've actually been to three drive-in cinemas this year, um, which is so fun. And I definitely want them to kind of keep going ahead going forward because it's just, yeah, a really fun evening. Um, I went to go and see Dirty Dancing and then Grease. And then for Halloween, I went to go and see Nightmare on Elm Street. Um, and yeah, I just had a really fun time at each of them. Um, the first two were kind of the Luna Cinema, so it was um, a lot bigger. And the last one was kind of a more like local um, drive-in cinema, but it was still really nice and because it was Halloween I loved it Halloween's like my favorite time of year so um but yeah I just thought that was really cool um to do this year and something that I've never done before so um that was a highlight of my year definitely another good thing that happened this year is I actually learned how to play the drums again um I bought a drum kit back in I think like April 
maybe may um i'm not sure but um yeah i bought a drum kit again because back in the first lockdown i decided like i've got loads of time i would love to learn how to start playing an instrument again um and well i wanted to play the guitar and then i realized that it's really hard and i might as well learn the instrument that i used to play when i was at school um i used to do grades and drums and i used to be like kind of good so i wanted to get back to the same level that i was previously and so i bought a drum kit and i started playing the drums again um and yeah that's just a really fun part of my year i've learned a few songs now um i kind of did it more in lockdown i'm not gonna lie to you i have kind of not been playing it as much recently but um it's definitely something that i've enjoyed doing this year um yeah something really exciting that did actually happen to me this year as well i'm trying to do this in like kind of chronological order so that's why i've left it until now um but yeah it's a really big thing that's happened to me this year so i actually started uni which i'm super excited about i'm doing my digital marketing degree which is super exciting for me um and yeah i'm really glad to be doing my degree i am currently on my first assignment um and i've got three years to go so i've got a bit of a journey ahead of me but i've been told that it's going to go super quickly and it's going to fly by so yeah i'm really excited to kind of get on doing my degree and yeah now i'm like going through it i'm like wow quite a lot has happened to me this year <laughs> I recently did a little Morphe order and I might do like a things that I've been buying recently um, video but I've been absolutely loving the Morphe stuff. I got a Morphe lipstick for my birthday and I wanted to get another one which is the lipstick I'm going to be using in a bit for this makeup look um, but I also got some Morphe eyeshadow brushes which I'm really excited to use. I'm going to use them in a second because I absolutely love doing like funky makeup and eyeshadow but I've only got one eyeshadow brush um, and so I was like you know what like if I'm doing quite a bit of makeup I need to get some more eyeshadow brushes so I bought some of these and yeah I'm really excited to use them also from Morphe I picked out this I think it's the khaki eyeshadow palette but um, it's really pretty it's got lots of greens in there um, which I love because I love a green eyeshadow but I don't think I'm going to be using that one today because I want to do more of like a brown look I've been absolutely loving like brown clothes and brown stuff recently so um, yeah I think I'm going to do like a more brown look but I'm going to use the Bare Minerals Copper Eyeshadow Palette, which I also got for Christmas. It's very pretty. Um, you can do like neutral or like everyday eyeshadow looks with it, but then you can also do like more night out looks with it with the dark ones at the bottom. So that is what I am going to attempt to do today. Ooh, this brush is really nice. The one that I had previously like isn't anything fancy. These brushes were like, they weren't even that expensive. I think I got them in the sale. To be honest, I can't remember how much I paid for them, but they're Morphe ones, so I feel like they're a bit like special. Um, but yeah, they're actually very good. So if you're looking for some new makeup brushes, recommend. I'm trying to think if there's like anything else that's kind of happened this year. Um, event-wise I mean obviously I started my YouTube channel I'm obviously just doing it for kind of like fun um, and because I enjoy filming these videos um, but also because I think it's really helping me with my confidence I feel like I'm one of those people that like I really value other people's opinions of myself but so much so that it can be like a negative thing like I'll sometimes change the way that I act or like what I do because of other people's opinions of me even if it's something that I wanted to do um, so yeah, I feel like this year I've kind of focused on being more like unapologetically me and focusing on myself a bit more um, and not really caring as much what other people think and I feel like this is definitely helping with that. Also, I completely forgot that this was this year, but I um, got my second tattoo this year, um, which I love. I just got a little crescent moon and then my friend got a sun, which I know to some people is kind of cringy. However, we've associated meaning to it and I absolutely love it. And I know that like, you don't need to associate meaning to your tattoos, but for me personally, that's what I choose to do. Um, and yeah, it has like a really special meaning to me. So I love it. That is definitely a highlight of my year. Along with the baking, I just feel like I've been a lot more creative this year. Um, just with like anything so I've done some like funky makeup looks like I've been really into my makeup which isn't something that's new for me like I've been really into doing makeup for a while um, but I've kind of been experimenting more with my makeup and wearing kind of more bold colours and things like that um, which I'm really enjoying I'm being able to kind of express myself more through makeup now as well um, which I love um, and also for Halloween I've done some really cool makeup looks this year which I'm really proud of I know that they're not going to be like the best thing ever because I'm not a makeup artist but I was really proud of myself for them so yeah <laughs> I also got my room this year which I've absolutely been loving decorating for like Halloween and Christmas I've taken down my Christmas decorations now I took them down yesterday but yeah I've been loving decorating it and 
I just feel like it's made me super excited for when I get like my first house because yeah another absolute obsession from 2020 is definitely Among Us. Um, I know I did a video back on it in like November but honestly since then I've literally been playing it all the time still. Um, me and my friends literally still play it and more and more of my friends are like now joining it so it's actually been a really nice way to like play a game with my friends like virtually which I think has been perfect for this year so yeah. Okay, so I was going to do some eyeliner as well, um, but I feel like I'm kind of happy with the makeup look now considering it's New Year's Eve, but I'm not really doing a lot. So um, yeah, I am going to go and do my hair quickly now. I don't really know what I'm gonna do, um, but I will be back in a second having done my hair. <laughs> okay, so this is the finished look. I don't know whether I love it or I hate it, but I got a curler for Christmas and I wanted to try curling my hair without having to curl my entire head because I know that it's literally going to take me hours and it's already three o'clock so yeah um, but I had a really fun time doing this look it is now complete I am now ready for my New Year's Eve which I'm excited for um, but yeah this was really fun to kind of have a look back at my 2020 I've definitely done a lot this year despite everything that's gone on and I've definitely had a lot of positives as well so it was really nice to reflect back on the year I love doing that at the end of the year as well and also setting myself new year's resolutions I've not actually done that this year yet so I'm gonna have to have a little think after this but um yeah I'm excited to do that I hope you guys have enjoyed watching I hope everyone had a really good new year I am now ready for mine um and yeah I will hopefully see you in my next video bye